Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to share with you my polish pickup haul for June 2020. The theme was cocktails and mocktails and what I wouldn't do for a cocktail on the beach right now. Man, I hate this quarantine. But anyway, I bought seven polishes and one cuticle oil. Now I know my goal is two polishes per month, but you know, I think it's time to revise my goals. We just, we just can't do it. But anyway, let's get started. So the first polish is Cotton Candy Cocktail by Kathleen and Company. And it was inspired by cocktails topped off with fluffy sugary cotton candy. It has a light blue base with glowy shimmer that shifts from blue to pink to orange at extreme angles. And it looks so pretty in the bottle. I mean, just look at this shimmer. Is it not gorgeous? And when I went outside in the sunlight, it was absolutely breathtaking. The next polish is Sassy Cat's Lacquer Lollipop Passion which was inspired by the Sugar Factory's favorite drink, Lollipop Passion. Now, I've never had one, but it looks delicious. Comment below if you've had one before. This polish is described as a lime green jelly loaded with shifting turquoise to green shimmer. And it also says that this beauty has top abilities. Wear alone in two to three coats depending on nail length, or wear one to two coats over a dark undie for a pop. Add matte top coat for a whole new look. Wow. Now here I'm wearing it in three coats and it is so beautiful. Look at it in this light. It is absolutely gorgeous. The next polish is Sassy Pants Polish Vodka Raspberry Lemonade. And that drink looks so good right now. I swear y'all, I'm not an alcoholic, but just looking at these pictures makes me want to sip on some things. Don't judge me. Now red is my favorite color in general. So I love a good red polish. And this one looks so pretty in the bottle with all that sparkle and shine. I love it. This has a bright red sparkly holographic base with red, bright pink, and gold holographic glitters and micro shreds. And you already know the inspiration behind the polish, a vodka raspberry lemonade. And I have had one of those before and they are absolutely delicious. And it looks delicious on the nails too. You can never go wrong with the beautiful red polish. The next polish is Night Owl Lacquer's Magical, inspired by the Magical Color Changing Cocktail. Now I've never had one of those, but it looks very, very interesting. Comment below and let me know if you've had one. This is a neon green crelly with multi-chrome flakes that shift green to blue to purple, and it also has bright aqua shimmer sparks. I thought this was just gorgeous and I don't have anything like it in my collection. I showed it to my son and he said it should have been named the Joker because that's what it reminded him of. And that also happens to be our dog's formal name, although we call him Jojo. But I digress. When I put this on my nails, I could not stop staring at them. Now this may be considered a prugly to some, but I love this polish. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing it right now. And I also think it'll be a fun polish for Halloween.
The next polish is by Fancy Gloss and it's called the Toxic Bee, inspired by the drink with the same name. And I promise y'all I'm not an alcoholic, but this drink looks so refreshing, I really want to try one. Now this polish is really fun. It's a thermal, and when it's cold, it's blue. And when it's warm, it changes to teal. And when it's hot, it changes to green. Now watch this, y'all. Look at that. I barely got it on my nail and it started to change colors. And for the most part, it stayed green because it was hot outside and it was kind of warm in our house because our air conditioner has been acting funny. But here's how it looks when it's totally in hot water. I love this green. And here's how it looks in cold water. But as you can see, it started changing back to green because it was so warm in the house. This polish was really, really fun. And I kept playing around with it just to see what kind of different looks I can get on my nails. This is also going to be another fun polish for Halloween. And like I said earlier, it was hot out that day, so of course it was gonna be green out in the sunlight. But even the bottle started to get lighter the longer I was out in the sun. And I'm not even really into thermals like that, but this one was so much fun I couldn't resist, and I'm so glad that I bought it. The next polish is part of a duo. I have Cuticula's Limitless Quick Dry Coat and Nail Nectar Cuticle Oil and the scent is Wild Passion Fruit Bellini. They describe the scent as a vivacious and bright fragrance with exotic passion fruit, melon, and mandarin blended with bubbly champagne, juicy nectarine, and black currant. I couldn't resist y'all. This stuff smells so daggone good, and I used it at least 20 times already. So yeah, I went a little crazy for June, but that's all right. I know I'm not the only one. And I have one more polish, but it didn't arrive in time before they shipped out my order, so they're gonna send it with my July order. And I can't wait for that order to come in because that's the PPU Polish Rewind where all your favorites come back, and I went crazy with that one. So I can't wait for that one to come in, and I will be doing a video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.